a major drug dealer was uh, arrested in Lagos, matter of fact, in a church. And uh, in a string of operations in Edo State, Ondo, Kaduna, Kano, and Kogi State, at least 2,504.8 kilograms of diverse illicit drugs were seized from multiple suspects in the past week. Well, joining us to take a look at this battle against illicit drugs is uh, the Publicity Secretary of the NDLEA, Mr. Femi Baba Femi. Good evening, Mr. Femi. Baba Femi. Good evening. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Tell us more about the war on fake drugs as it stands well, today. Well, what um, we have at the moment is um, a balance between uh, the two major plans of the operations of the NDLA, that is uh, in the area of drug supply reduction and drug uh, demand reduction. But basically, regarding the arrests and seizures, these are all efforts um, geared at uh, cutting access to illicit drugs across the country. And that is why every week, every day, you see um, quite um, a lot of seizures and arrests across uh, different parts of the country. And uh, what you have, um, what you just read in your bulletin is part of those efforts to mop up illicit drugs and substances um, across um, our communities all over the country. And this um, is something that will continue just like um, the chairman did say in that statement that um, will continue until the last um, gram of illicit drug is taken away from the hands of merchants of death. Because Do you think that can for be us achieved, next, Mr. Baba Femi? Okay. Can, can that be achieved? You said what? Can that be achieved, what you just said? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I'm sure with the series of arrests and seizures, for us, we believe that um, a gram of illicit drug or substance seized or intercepted is a gram less what is available on the street. As of today, I can tell you we are in the last uh, five, six months, we have seized well over two million kilograms of drugs. That is huge. And uh, we believe that if this had escaped into our streets and communities, uh, they could have done quite a lot of um, enormous damage to the lives and of our citizens and the public health. So we believe that um, intercepting these drugs and seizing them, it, um, we're going towards winning the war, absolutely. And uh, we believe that our officers and men are more determined, more than ever before, to make sure that... Um, we cut accessibility to these um, substances. There seems to be a lot of arrests. It's actually a winnable war. Okay, good to hear that. There appears to be an increased rate in, you know, in the arrests of drug, illicit drug dealers recently. Is it that your efforts have been stepped up or we have an increase in this crime in the society? Are more people going into drugs? an indication that um, there are concerted efforts to make sure that um, these drugs are taken away from circulation. That is why you are seeing the arrests and seizures everywhere these days. Is we have, um, like I like I tried to explain, with the coming of General Mara in January this year, he came with a new maximum of offensive action. Offensive action in the sense that the NDLA and its operatives would now take the battles to the doorstep to the hideout of um, drug barons and the drug, I mean, the various cartels across the country. So what we do now is to go into the forest and um, also ambush them on the roads at the airports, at the seaports, and that these have actually been working well for the agency and for the country. So that's why you are seeing this, and that is why the level of consciousness about um, illicit drugs in the country is very high at the moment. 
Well, I must commend you, but we used to have what I would probably call um, awareness campaigns against drugs in the past. Um, I, I don't recall seeing any. I haven't seen any for some time. What's going on with that? It obviously, you probably not have been following. You would have seen that uh, in the recent past, the chairman of the agency has been leading top officials to across the state. I mean, the last um, state we visited was Ogun State, where we visited the governor. We visited the paramount ruler of Egbaland, Alaki of uh, Alaki of Egbaland, and um, had meetings with all the stakeholders, civil society organizations, state-based organizations community-based organizations, and all across. And this is going on, and um, we are broadening the scope. Just uh, last week, we had in Abuja here, um, two-day meeting with um, a special purpose committee of um, all stakeholders, and the whole essence of this is to mobilize them to take the war against drug abuse campaign to the grassroots, to the community. So well, that's why I told you earlier that... Um, we're trying to balance our work between um, our efforts in drug demand reduction and also drug supply reduction. We are actually creating a fair balance between the two, creating awareness at the same time, cutting access to these drugs. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Femi, Baba Femi, um, the Publicity Secretary of the NDLEA, and kudos, and also more grease your elbows. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.